At Saal Digital, you can design multiple photographic products. You will find them in the first menu of the software. This time we will go for a photo book. You will see that there are different options for our photo book, as well as sizes and formats. We just need to choose the one that best fits our needs. In this example, we will select this one. In this configuration panel, we can customize our photo book. We can decide on the cover material, the inside pages, and we can also add a gift box. All these options can change over time as we are constantly updating and improving our products. Once we are done, we click on Design. The software offers three design modes to fit our time and needs. Let's see what they are. If we are short on time and want to design a photo book as quickly as possible, we should choose the one minute photo book. Now we simply choose the design line we like the most and select the images and the number of pages we want to include in our photo book. We can modify the number of pages later if we need to. And just like that, our photo book is ready. Now all we have to do is check that everything is as we like and make the changes we feel are necessary. But first, let's take a quick look at the design interface. In the top menu, we will find the main tools to manage our project, like saving or sharing, adding elements, changing to preview mode, or adjusting the settings of the software. On the bottom, we will find information about the pages of our photo book and options to add, delete, and change the order of the pages. On the left menu, we find all we need to browse through our folders and add new images to the project. All the tools we need to customize our photo book can be found on the right menu, like clip arts, background, and layouts. If we want, we can hide the side panels on the bottom menu to have more room to design our photo book. Let's have a look at our photo book. This is the cover and the back cover. We can change the layout of the cover if we want. Inside the layouts menu, we will find several layout options that follow the selected design style. We can choose the one we like the most. And if we want, we can change the design line here. Now, let's have a look at the inside pages. We can edit our images if we wish. When we select an image, you will notice that more options appear on the right side panel. These options allow us to customize our images. We will also find some tools at the top of the image. Here we can, for example, mirror our image, zoom in and out, and reframe it. If we have two or more images on the page, we can swap them. We just need to select them and click on Swap Selected Images. We can also add text on our pages. By clicking on Add Text on the top menu and a text box will be added to our pages. We can place it freely wherever we want or choose a layout with a text. As you can see, the layouts offered have been updated to include a text box and we are going to select this one. As with the images, when we select a text, tools to customize will appear on the right panel over the text box. We can change the style of our text by clicking on the text editor tool that appears above the text or in the text box button on the right hand side. In our example, we are going to change the font, the size and the color of our text. Let's have a look at the other ways to design our photo book. If we want to design our photo book page by page, having some help and suggestions about which layout to use, the best option is the comfort designer. We need to choose our favorite design line. We can filter them by category and select the one we like the most. Now we define a number of pages for our photo book, but we can change the number of pages at any time. The basis for our photo book is ready and we can start designing it. The first thing we are going to do is design the cover and the back cover. To add an image, simply select a photo and drag it towards the photo book. Here, three options will appear. These options allow us to choose between using a suggested layout, inserting the image as a background, or just adding our photo without changing the layout. Let's choose the first option. We will see the layout suggested is now implemented in our photo book. We can of course still change it if we want. In this example, we are going to add a text and choose another layout that includes the text box we have just added. We are going to choose one that includes a clip art too. 
We can customize our text if we want. When we select a text, in addition to the new options that appear on the right, the text editor tools show up above the text box. If we click on it, a pop-up menu will appear where we will find different options to edit our text. In this example, we are going to change the font and reduce the size a bit. And our cover is done. Let's design the inside pages. To start designing our pages, we need to select a layout and drag our photo over it. We can replace the image we have already placed if we want. To do so, drag a new image over the image we placed. We can add as many photos as we want. You will notice that the software offers different layout options according to the number of images we add. Here we are going to use the option Insert an image as a background image, taking advantage of the lay flat binding. Let's move on to the next page. We are going to insert two images using the Add without changing the layout option. Images are added directly to our photo book without any selected layout, so we can freely place them wherever we want. We can also choose a layout once the images have already been included on the page. These images will automatically adapt to any layout you select. We can still change the design line here at any time. We can also mirror the layout if we like. We are going to edit our image by mirroring it, zooming in, and reframing it. If we want to add or delete pages, we can do it here. And, of course, we can also change the order of the pages by simply dragging our page forwards or backwards. If we want to have complete freedom when designing our photo book, we should choose the empty template mode. We select the estimated number of pages, which we can change at any time, and our photo book is ready to be designed. We can begin creating our photo book by dragging images from our folder. Let's start by adding two images to our cover. We can place and resize our images as we like. We have the possibility to resize the image frame by clicking on its frame and scaling it. We can use the grid tool to help us arrange the elements on the page. We just have to click on the page button on the right side panel and activate the grid, choosing the most suitable setting for us. Now we can adjust the size and the position of our elements. When we have finished placing our elements, we can hide the grid by selecting the No Grid option. We can also add a frame to our images if we want. Just select the photo and click on Frame. There are multiple frame options available. In this example, we are going to choose this one. We are going to change the color and the thickness of the frame. Let's add a title to the cover by clicking on the Add Text button on the top menu and place it wherever we want. We are going to click on the text box button to modify its style. And our cover is ready. For the first pages, we will add a background. We need to click on the background button and can choose between color, gradient, texture, or select an image. We can apply the same background to all pages if we want and delete it here. This time, we are going to choose a layout with an image box covering the right page and drag a photo over it. We can make some color adjustments to our photo. If we click on the Filters button, different options will be displayed. In this example, we are going to increase the saturation a little bit. And these pages are ready. Let's move on to the next page. We are going to choose a layout as a starting point. And then, drag the images over it. We can also select a specific size for our image if we want. To do that, we need to click on the Position button. Here, we have several options to adjust the size and position of our image. Let's assign it a specific size and zoom out. We can also take advantage of the alignment tool to arrange the elements through the page. In this example, we are going to center the image horizontally and vertically. You will notice that if we select two or more objects, new options will appear on the position menu. We can adjust their position as a group. Let's center them in the middle of the page. We can also create our own layouts by adding image boxes from the top menu and resize and place them where we want. We are going to use the copy and paste tools to put an image box with the same parameters on the next page. Let's add a fill box by clicking on add fill in the top menu. We can change its color using the fill box tool. We can also opt for a gradient or texture if we want. 
Let's change the size of the fill box to cover an entire single page. We can change the hierarchy of the elements too. In this example, we are going to place the fill box behind the image boxes. We need to click on the position button and select center back. As with the images, we can add frames to our image boxes too. We just need to click on frame and select the one we like the most. We can also add shadows if we want by clicking on the shadow button. In this menu, we have several options to customize our shadows. And we have just finished designing our own layout. Now it's time to add our images. We just have to drag each image into an image box. Let's go to another page. We can also benefit from a large catalog of clip art. To find them, we need to click on the clip arts button and select the one we like the most. There are many options to choose from. And of course, we can take advantage of the lay flat binding and use our photo as a background. We simply click on it with the right mouse button. Many options will appear. We need to select use this image as a background image. And there it is. Once we have finished our photo book, we can add it to our cart by clicking add to cart at the bottom. In this video, we have shown just some of the tools available, but there are many more. Sal Design is a complete design tool that allows us to get the most out of our skills while adapting to our time and needs. Furthermore, because we are constantly improving our software, you may find new tools and features in the future. Therefore, we encourage you to immerse yourself in the software, enjoy its possibilities and exploit its potential. And feel free to contact us for any kind of doubt. Now, it's your turn.